welcome back to another video of Calc Nerd. So today's video is going to be on the quadratic formula. So I hope you enjoy. So to all the people that are returning and are subscribers, thank you for that. And all the people who are not subscribers, I hope you do enjoy the video and I hope you do like the video and subscribe. So let's dive right into the quadratic formula. So first I'm going to show you. So I called it quad. So for example, if you have like 2x squared plus 2x minus 24, um, this program will not work. What you have to do is all of those are divisible by 2, so you have to pull the 2 out. And then the 2 would go over here, and then in parentheses you'd have x squared plus x minus 12. So that's actually the example I'm going to use. So x squared plus x minus 12. So the a number, which is the number in front of the x squared, there is no number in front of the x squared, but it is technically being multiplied by 1. The same is true for x. And then the minus 12 at the end, so you'd need to put in a uh, this thing right here, which is negative, and then 12. And it will give you your roots of negative 4 and 3. So that's how this program operates, and I hope you enjoy the video. So now we're going to go into edit it. So I called it quad, as I mentioned before. So the first thing you have to do is get your mode into A plus BI. So you click the mode button and go down to A plus BI, which your calculator will most likely be on real. And then you go into AS A plus BI, click enter. I'm just going to click clear so I don't put another one in. And then it should pop up on the screen. Then you clear home to make sure there's nothing on the home screen that will affect it. Then you prompt A, B, and C, which are your three values, A being the x squared number, B being the number in front of x, and C being the value that is adding or subtracting at the end. Then you have the quadratic formula, which is negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. And then I have them store into values. Um, this is not the whole program, there's a little bit down below, but so um, if you'd like to know how the quadratic formula actually works, I recommend um, checking out other videos on YouTube. Um, I'll have a couple links to them. I'll have like a couple, yeah, probably two links to them in the videos or in the description. I can't talk today, I'm sorry. Um, and I hope you enjoy those videos. I personally did, so I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Then down here, all we have is display x and y. So that's really all there is to doing the quadratic formula. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I hope you uh, get your math done or whatever you're going to do with the quadratic formula.